Which one of Samsung's 2013 flagships is the best? That's what we're here to find out. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 versus the Galaxy S4. Back in March, Samsung unveiled the fourth generation of its wildly popular Galaxy S line of smartphones in a rather dramatic tap dancing fashion. Reactions were mixed. And just last month, Samsung pulled the curtains on the latest addition to its Galaxy Note line, the Galaxy Note 3. When treated as competitors rather than close relatives, how do they compare? Which is the more balanced smartphone and which is worth your hard-earned cash? Let's find out. Side by side, it's impossible to mistake these two devices as anything but Galaxy smartphones made by none other than Samsung. It's a case of big brother, little brother, only it's the younger brother that's bigger and more mature. Both feature similar aesthetics from the front and sides, a subtle pattern or texture beneath the glass, a physical home button between two capacitive menu and back buttons, the same silver perforated speaker grille, and minimal bezel. The hard edges offer similar profiles as well, but that's where the visual similarities come to a grinding halt. With the Note 3, Samsung broke from its standard use of hyperglaze plastics and utilized a new finish, faux leather with faux stitching. The Galaxy S4 also uses a wider radius for its corners, making the Note 3 look much more broad and serious than it actually is. The Note 3's trim doesn't bear the brushed appearance found on the S4, but instead sports a lined trim, not unlike the pages of a notebook. But it also reminds us of trim work found on 50s model saloon cars, which is cool too. Everything about the Galaxy Note 3 looks more executive and business professional than the Galaxy S4, and rightly so, but more on that later. The most obvious difference between these two models is size. The Galaxy S4 is a more respectable size, 136.6mm tall, 69.8mm wide, and 7.9mm thick. The Note 3 is 14.6mm taller, 9.4mm wider, and 0.4mm thicker. It's also 38 grams heavier. These size discrepancies are impossible to miss and quite notable in use. The Galaxy S4 is quite easily wielded and used one-handed. One-handed use with the Note 3 is possible, especially thanks to some unique software features, but also quite difficult. Even after years with phones near the size of the Note, we still opt for two-handed use on most occasions, but not only due to its large stature. The Note, as the name indicates, is fundamentally different from the S4, thanks to one tiny piece of hardware that tucks into the lower right corner of the Note 3, the S Pen. It's an inductive stylus which bears a single button and offers pressure sensitivity, thanks to a Wacom digitizer. Under their respective hoods, these two close relatives have even less in common. The Galaxy S4 equips a rather respectable mix of specifications. A 5-inch 1080p Super AMOLED display, 1.9GHz quad-core crate 300 CPU, Adreno 320 GPU, 16-64GB to 64 gigabytes of fixed storage, 2GB of RAM, a 13MP primary camera, and a 2600mAh battery. On the other hand, the Note 3 effectively comes with the best of everything. A 5.7-inch 1080p Super AMOLED display, 2.3GHz quad-core Crate 400 CPU, Adreno 330 GPU, 16-64GB to 64 gigabytes of fixed storage, 3GB of RAM, 13MP camera capable of 4K video capture, and a giant 3200mAh battery. Both come with a mess of connectivity options and sensors. NFC, Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth Low Energy, Barometer, Thermometer, Infrared, etc but the Note 3 has USB 3.0 to boot. As far as hardware goes, it's an even split. We love the size of the Note 3 mainly due to the value proposition offered by the vast software offerings. But not everyone will. Not everyone has giant hands. And for that, we give the edge, with mass market in mind, to the Galaxy S4. The Note 3, however, has better specifications, better build quality, and it simply feels nicer, not super slick and slimy. Mere seconds with each in hand and you can tell there's not a lot separating the Galaxy S4 or Note 3 in terms of software. Both come with TouchWiz atop Android Jelly Bean. The Galaxy S4 is currently running Android 4.2 while the Note 3 ships with Android 4.3. What does that mean exactly? The Note 3 has OpenGL ES 3.0 support, the S4 doesn't. Yet. There are some more Project Butter enhancements under the hood, and more tiny differences can be found if you pay close enough attention. But for all intents and purposes, they're practically running the same software. You get the typical Samsung software suite, or bloat, S Health, S Translator, Samsung Hub, Samsung Apps, S Voice, and much more. And both come with a horde of smart features. Smart Stay, Smart Rotate, Smart Scroll, Air View, Multi Window, etc. The Note 3, however, offers an entirely different subset of features, S Pen features. 
the most prominent is called Air Command, which appears when you remove the S Pin. There are five actions from within Air Command. Action Memo, Scrapbooker, Screenwrite, S Finder, and Pin Window. Screenwrite is simply a screen capture utility that can be accessed by pressing the S Pin button and long pressing on the display. An Action Memo can also be accessed by pressing the S Pin button and double tapping the display. These features paired with software like Multi-Window are what give the Note 3 a competitive edge, at least for the multitasker or power user, over the Galaxy S4 or other excessively large smartphones. If the S Pen and its feature suite do not interest you in the least, the differences between these two smartphones, software-wise, are virtually negligible. According to Samsung, the Galaxy S4 should be receiving its 4.3 update sometime this month, narrowing the differences to nothing more than the S Pen. Performance isn't necessarily an issue on either device, but everything is quite noticeably snappier on the Galaxy Note 3. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 800 chipset is a split second faster at doing practically everything than the like-branded Snapdragon 600 chip. Returning home, opening apps, switching apps all happen noticeably and consistently faster on the Note 3. Likewise, gaming is more polished on the Note 3. It's also better equipped for intense multitasking, and it eats benchmarks for breakfast. None of this is to say the Galaxy S4 is bad, but the TouchWiz interface does seem to slow things down considerably at times. This is yet to occur on the Note 3, and for that, it has a significant edge in computing power. That said, the S4 can hold its own in terms of speaker performance. The Note 3's and the S4's speakers are about equally loud, but the S4 speakers seem to be more crisp and clear, whereas the Note 3's is muddy. Located along the backside, it's also much more difficult to cover up than the Note 3's, which is along the bottom edge, exactly where your index finger rests when you're gaming or watching a video. In battery power, the S4 suffers a crushing defeat. To be fair, its battery performance isn't bad. In all our S4 reviews, it managed decent battery life lasting most of the day, if not all of it, on moderate to heavy usage. But beside the Note 3, it's no contest. The Note 3 has 600 additional milliamp hours under its battery door, and the brand is notorious for delivering one day plus devices. Since last Wednesday, when we received the Note 3 review unit, we have been unable to kill the Note 3's battery in a standard or even heavy day of usage. And finally, camera performance. It's comparable between both the Note 3 and the S4. The 13 megapixel shooters are on par with one another, both in software and hardware. They both offer nice, balanced images in great and even moderate lighting situations. Yet, by today's standards, neither are great at low light shots. We had trouble taking sable shots in pretty much any scenario with both devices, but the problem was definitely amplified with the Galaxy S4, often taking much blurrier images. But the differences in image sensing are few and far between. One of those differences is in video capture. The Note 3 can capture up to 4K video where the S4 can only capture up to 1080p. What you can actually do with that 4K video though is yet to be determined. So where does that leave us? Well, with two high-powered Samsung smartphones that target two very different types of consumers. Both are so well-rounded they honestly can appeal to just about anyone. But the Note 3 is obviously geared more towards power users and those who want a little more out of their smartphone. A gaming device, productivity powerhouse, and a smartphone. The Galaxy S4 is a similar beast, only smaller and scaled back a bit. So which one do you choose? Ultimately, it comes down to your own personal preference and size and whether the S Pen appeals to you or not. For us, it's the Note 3 all day long. We're all about excessive, over-the-top performance and the ultimate utility. And the S Pen, extra battery life, extra screen real estate, and faux leather in the place of hyperglaze speak straight to our hearts as phone enthusiasts. That's going to wrap this video up, so thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it and found it helpful, click the thumbs up button below, and subscribe to see more videos from myself and the rest of Pocket Now team. Be sure to follow us on all the social channels, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin, you can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you next time.